Hello, darlings. We're going on a pizza tour in Seattle and showing you just a handful of the many options that exist. We dive into classics like margarita pizza and pepperoni pizza. There are also innovative pizza flavors like the seasonal crab pizza and Filipino style pork belly pizza. From round pies to oval pies to Detroit style square pies, wow, it's a party in the mouth. And in between those yummy bites, we take digestive breaks by going on nature walks. We also check out some shops. We're talking antiques, used books, and more. Remember to tap that like button to support our channel, and let's get this adventure started. Our pizza tour begins in downtown Seattle. Welcome to Sirius Pie, where each pizza crust is blistered in their 600 degree stone encased wood burning oven. Actually, Sirius Pie has three locations. This one has indoor and outdoor seating, as well as cocktails, beer, and wine. Happy hour is from 3 to 5 on weekdays. They also sell salads and sandwiches. Introducing the Mushroom Pizza which has roasted oyster mushrooms, crimini mushrooms, and truffle cheese. Looks like a thin slice of that cheese was laid right on top like a blanket, creating a glazed appearance. The second oval pie is topped with sweet fennel sausage, roasted peppers, provolone, and sprinkles of herb. I had the sweet fennel sausage pizza in the Totem Lake location, so I know this one's good. Mamio digs in with a fork and knife. It's her style and her favorite way of eating burgers as well. Wow, thin crust, I love it. Each pizza has its own personality. This one is very flexible and can easily do body rolls. This is a very juicy pizza. There's a sweetness from the sausage and the sauce. And the spiciness must be coming from that pepper. And if it's not spicy enough, shake on some dried chili flakes. And you know, mushroom shrinks a lot when you cook it, but I see some nice big chunks on here. It's quite flavorful, so the crust will balance out the flavor potency. Mommy was saying the sweet fennel sausage pizza, that one is salty for her, but the mushroom pizza is like the perfect amount of saltiness for her. These oval pizzas are sliced into eight pieces. The middle four slices are the most exciting, the most flavorful, while the four corner slices have less toppings. Even after the pizzas cool down, the fennel sausage pizza remains flexible. However, the mushroom pizza slices are easy to lift. Which one's better? Hard to say. Both pizzas are tasty in their own way. They're different. I enjoy every bite, even the crust. As a kid, I never ate pizza crust, and I would just like eat the whole pizza and leave the edge to the side because those crusts were like too thick and tasteless. But this crust, it's got that crunchiness. It is enjoyable to eat even alone. Might not look so big, but was filling for us. We take six slices home. Inside Sirius Pie is the Dahlia Bakery where you'll find handmade pastries, desserts, and breads, all baked daily. Peep inside the fridge for oven-ready meals. You can also get Sirius Pie's pre-baked crusts. They also make dog treats. There's another Sirius Pie in Ballard. The Ballard location has no dine-in, but does offer takeout and outdoor seating. My favorite Sirius Pie is the one in Kirkland. Fueled by pizza, we take a digestive break. First, we stop by Commodore Park and walk to the Ballard Locks to gather additional footage needed for an upcoming video, which I'm super excited to share with you next month. Then we cross the Ballard Bridge for Ballard Avenue Northwest, where there are restaurants, cafes, bars, and unique spots, like this underground curiosity shop with antiques, crystals, and more. I got this Victorian cabinet card. It's said to be photographed in the 1870s or 1880s. Two doors down is a thrift store. Most of the items were 50% off when we visited. Whoa, this is the narrowest vase I've ever seen. This two buck dark golden one is coming home with us. The pizza shop we're going to next opens at 4 p.m. Right now, it's a little past three, so let's hang out at a park nearby. Look at these 
these roots. Looks like just a bunch of radiating lines. There's that big kid on the swings. <laughs> yeah, that's fancy. I've never seen a swing like that. It's like a car seat. This next pizza spot turns out to be located in a neighborhood where buses line up and take a break. Sunny Hill offers 12-inch round pies and Detroit-style square pies, all fired up in a wood stone hearth oven. They also serve waffle fries, burgers, salads, and alcoholic drinks. Ooh, this cup is very short! Double stacked! We got the square on the bottom and the round one on the top. This round pie is called the Arcade. It's got pepperoni slices. Some slices are double and even triple stacked. There's also pickled serrano, mozzarella, parmesan, and oregano. As for the square pie, it's called the Loyal, made with mozzarella, aged provolone, and parmesan. Look at the edges! The round pie has a thin crust. Oh, this looks so exciting! Oh, it looks like a painting to me. There's so much texture on the pepperoni. First off, I'm not a pepperoni pizza person. I usually get a different kind of pizza, but this is really good. I love the pepperoni slices, those edges. Some of it is super crispy. I picked up a pepperoni slice. It feels like a chip. And some of the edges, it's dry. Can you hear the crispiness? It's salty, savory, oily, pepperoni. Now you do have the option of putting more like chili flakes on it, but it might be plenty enough spice. The pepper is sweet. It starts off sweet and then it kicks your throat with its spiciness. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, you're already to the crust. You wanna dip it in the black oh, garlic yeah. ranch? Mm -hmm. Usually I'm not a fan of ranch, but I like this one. Love the touch of garlic. The chive makes it refreshing. Because the pepperoni slices are pretty small, it makes it very easy to bite. Some pepperoni pizzas, when the slices are so big, can be a little awkward to eat, but this one is very easy. Each pepperoni slice is bite-sized. It's common for tomato sauce to be spread between the cheese and crust. In this case, looks like piles of tomato sauce sit on top of the cheese, not below it. And then it's generously sprinkled with Parmesan. I have a feeling you like this one more than the pepperoni one. Yeah! So, wow, that's thick. So the round pizza is cut into six slices, and the square one is four big, thick pieces. Ooh, that is heavy. <laughs> I feel like these pieces are like one pound each. This crust is so thick, I feel like I'm biting into two pizza slices at once. Tomato saucy, cheesy, and definitely less salty. The arcade as a round pie, it is salty, but it is still tasty. You can order it as a square pie. So I'm guessing, because the square pie is thicker, I think that'll dilute the saltiness of the pepperoni slices. Now, if you find a pizza is not flavorful enough, then get that black garlic ranch, and you could always sprinkle on that chili flake as well. If I lived in this neighborhood, ooh, it'd be so tempting to get a pizza here every weekend. Definitely want to come back to try each and every dish they offer. Exactly one week later, and after we finished all the leftovers, we continue the pie adventure. Mio Posto is a family-owned pizzeria, Italian kitchen and bar. They serve open flame pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and much more. Mio Posto has four locations, each in a neighborhood setting. The one in Mount Baker is the first Mio Posto and has been open since 2006. Outdoor seating is available and a cozy nook with a decorative sconce. So many table options, including these bar-style seats facing the window and park. Cocktails, aperitifs, and other drinks. This one's the Elderflower 75, has seed lip spirits, elderflower syrup, and non-alcoholic champagne. Said to be alcohol-free, but still must be 21 or older to enjoy. Definitely feel the lemon. So refreshing, huh? a little sour, but not so sour where it makes you go like. We both order the pie and salad lunch special, which comes with a handcrafted eight inch pizza with your choice of small salad. The greens arrive first. Here's Mamio's arugula salad with fresh pepper, olive oil, lemon, and grana. How's the salad? 
is very simple. I chose the beet salad with goat cheese and cracked Marcona almonds. The beet salad appears more filling than the arugula salad. The margarita pizza is made of milled Alta Cucina tomatoes, mozzarella and basil. Half the crust is burnt and the other half is not. Thus, depending on your preference, you might love one half more than the other. Soft pizza. It's juicy because of tomato sauce. The Zucca Balsamica pizza has an olive oil base and is topped with a roasted butternut squash, pancetta, mozzarella, caramelized onions, garlic, goat cheese, red pepper flakes, and balsamic reduction. And ooh, no need to tell me there's rosemary in it. You can smell its fragrance rising up with the heat. The slices are not in perfect fourths, which creates variation in this pizza eating experience. Ooh, that's way more flavorful than the margarita pizza, and it's quite autumnal. Mm. It's definitely saltier. I have a feeling you prefer the margarita pizza. Mm. This is a sweet. <laughs> I think the margarita pizza also has a sweetness, but my pizza definitely has more flavor. Mm -hmm. Savory. Both pizzas are good, but I prefer the Zucca Balsamica more because it's meatier. And if you want more spice, chili flakes at your service. The crust at Serious Pie is crispier and lighter. The crust here is pillowy and more dense. And you really feel the dough flavor. Our waiter says happy hour is awesome, so we'll have to come back. Just around the corner is a two-story cocktail bar and a metaphysical boutique. Phantom Quartz is a small shop, but is densely packed with a great selection of cards, pins, books, crystals, and more. And now for a digestive walk from Mount Baker Park to Mount Baker Beach, where you get views of Lake Washington and the twin floating bridges of Interstate 90. This lake is open for fishing year-round. However, the Washington State Department of Health has issued fish consumption advisories for Lake Washington. So be sure to check for updates online if you want to fish. It's our first time in this area, so let's explore some more. Those stairs intrigue. Where will they lead us to? To more stairs and lots of it. Upon reaching the top, we see houses. We make a sharp right turn for the dirt trails, then make our way towards Coleman Beach by walking beneath stone bridges. With two hours left until the next pizza shop opens, we check out one of my favorite antique stores. Epic Antique is huge! At 22,000 square feet, with over 50 vendors, you can easily spend hours here, especially if you like to look at items in detail. As a collector of vintage photos, I'm thrilled to find this one. Last time I was here, they were hosting an outdoor flea market, and I got this clustered vase. I recently learned they have an even bigger shop nearby, called Lander Street Vintage. Up next is Moto, a pizza shop sandwiched between mid-rise apartments. Actually, the building was originally a house, with a story similar to Up, the movie, thus the balloons on the roof. While the neighborhood urbanized, the homeowner held out, but did agree to convert the 1950s one-bedroom house into a pizza shop. Some days, customers line up 30 minutes before opening. Pre-orders get sold out for months in advance online, and about 40 to 50 doughs are prepped for walk-in pizzas per day, so grab them while you can. Take out only, but six picnic tables with umbrellas are offered. All seats have a view of the disco ball, which dances with the wind. Its reflections shower sparkles upon everything around it. Some call their pies Detroit style, others call it Seattle's odd pizza because of their inventive pizza flavors like the clam chowder pizza. Vegan options are available. We order two kinds, the seasonal crab pizza, which comes with Dungeness crab, butter, moto cheese blend, dill, thyme, lemon, and sea salt. It has so much flavor. The bottom is oily and crispy, brown and golden brown. This might be the most expensive pizza I ever bought. It's because of the Dungeness crab. It tastes deeply of cheese, and the edges are crunchy. There's also the Mr. Pig pizza, made with spicy pork sausage, lechon kawali, Filipino-style pork belly, 
moto cheese blend, onion, pepper, calamansi, lime sauce, and Mr. Pig sauce. Ooh, wow, it's heavy. 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 Oh, this is way heavier than the first one. In terms of weight, this should be more expensive. Lots of cheese. It's cheesier than the first one? Oh yeah, The first one was pretty cheesy. No, cheesy, cheesy, cheesier. Sweetness, more savory. Wow. This is a very filling pizza. Two slices of this, I don't think we need to eat for like five hours. I just had a bite of either it was pork belly or sausage, but it was so tender. Mm -hmm. Juicy, tender. Mm. So the crab pizza, that one, each bite is more consistent. Whereas the Mr. Pig pizza, each bite is a little different. Some bites have the sausage, some bites are salty, some bites are not. So the Mr. Pig pizza, that one is more of a journey. The owner and everyone who works here, they're so friendly, it feels like a party. <laughs> like the owner is just talking to, you know, he's talking to everybody. And it's just a really great atmosphere. I am one and a half slices in. Mamio had two full slices. I'm already feeling pretty full. <laughs> like this is dense. We just got a sample of ice cream and the topping is homemade garlic chili oil. There are 21 ingredients. It's very likable. Okay, first it's just like cold. You know, my teeth are sensitive. And then the spicy kicks in. What a unique combo. <laughs> Who would have thought? Garlic chili oil on ice cream. I love the ice cream because butter pecan, it's autumn. And there's crunchiness. There's white sesame seeds and black sesame seeds. Moto is opening two more locations. One in Belltown and one in Edmonds. About a block away is the West Seattle Junction, a three-block stretch with a pet shop, a record store with a cafe, and a used bookstore that's been open for nearly 40 years. There are also restaurants and so forth. And if you're craving sand and water, there's Alki Beach Park, from where you can ride the King County Water Taxi to downtown Seattle. Hope you enjoyed this pizza tour. There are so many more places to get pizza in Seattle. This video is just a bite of what this city has to offer. And there are places outside of Seattle as well. So you might be wondering, what is the best pizza in this video? Well, depends on what you like. Do you prefer thin crust or thick crust? Salty or mild? Meat, seafood or veggies? And what about the ambiance and the ease of parking? Are there other things to do in the area aside from eating pizza? Also, your mood can affect which pizza you crave. One day you might want serious pie, another day mio posto. Here's an idea. Get takeout pizza and savor it during sunset by the beach. From Modo to Alki Beach, from Sunny Hill to Golden Gardens Park. In colder rainy months, I'd find mio posto to be quite cozy. Stay tuned for more food and travel videos coming ahead. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles. Remember that vintage photo I got from the antique shop? I painted an abstract version of it in my sketchbook. The ruffled lampshade looked like a dress, so I expanded it into a puffy ball gown. The reading woman wears it. During the day, her baby and husband enjoys the shade. At night, the lamp lights up. Follow my arts and crafts Instagram at Creative Chillout for other expressive and at times unusual updates. No, 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 I'm Crustmeister. The bus is passing by, so it might be hard for you to hear the crunch. It tastes I love the plate here as well. Yeah, I've been just picking up, picking up.
Oops. <laughs> Dance party. What?